there's um, two main open market-based measures proposed in the IMO pr process. Um, the first one is a global emissions trading scheme. Um, this is being proposed by um, a group of countries like Norway and France and Germany um, and, and, and the UK. And it would mean that um, ship operators would have to purchase allowances um, which they would have to surrender in accordance with the emissions they create. So this creates kind of a, a carbon trading system globally just for shipping, um, managed by the IMO, and this would mean that ship operators would have the choice to either um, reduce their emissions or purchase reductions from other sectors. And the advantage for the sector is, is that if you're a ship operator which for some reason has a high cost of reducing your emissions, or you can buy them more cheaply from a factory somewhere else, um, then this lowers your cost of reducing your emissions. So this is the advantage for the sector. Of course, an individual can still decide they're going to reduce their own emissions themselves and, and not have to purchase the, the reduction. But it's about lowering the cost of action for the sector, giving the operators more choice. Now, the other proposal is a proposal which is from countries um, um, like Denmark and is being supported countries by, like Cyprus. And this is for a global levy on international maritime fuel. So when ships purchase fuel around the world, um, the fuel supplier would have to take a levy on that fuel and that levy will be used to create a fund managed by IMO. And that fund would then be used to purchase offsets for those emissions or to invest in technology um, to, to reduce emissions in the sector. So these are the two big competing ideas. For the Commission and the EU as a whole, we absolutely support um, the global solution. This would be the most effective and this would be the best to tackle climate change. Um, and this would be the, the, the easiest way, way to do it. And we're working hard in all of the UN processes, in the UNFCCC, in the International Civil Aviation Authority, as well as in the IMO, um, to, to, to get these kind of agreements. But unfortunately, um, it's quite difficult to get these, such a large number of states to agree. First of all, shipping is a global industry. And a, a regional measure wouldn't have much effect. If Europe would take a regional measure, the effect on CO2, on climate change, would be marginal because the vast majority of maritime transport services is taking place outside Europe. So you would only cover a marginal part of the whole thing. I think that in overall efficiency, emissions trading is probably the best among those that have been presented. Uh, it's also easy with uh, an ETS where allowances are sold on auction to uh, come up with funds enough for compensating developing countries if that is a prerequisite for reaching a global agreement. Um, the other uh, proposals are a little bit more complicated to um, assess in the longer term, 